Here's problem 26, 13. In the figure, if C1 is equal to 20 microfarads, C2 is 10 microfarads, C3 is 30 microfarads, and the voltage of the battery is 18 volts, determine the charge stored by C1. So we have uh, 20, let's use blue, 20 microfarads here, 10 microfarads here, and 30 microfarads here. And here is 18 volts. Okay, so we want the charge stored by capacitor C1, which is a 20 microfarad capacitor. To do that, if we could find the equivalent capacitance of this whole circuit, we could find the charge on that, and that would be representing a series combination that would include C1. So that would be the same charge. So that's a good way to go. So let's simplify the circuit. We're going to do this parallel combination here, add those two together, and now our circuit would look like this. Two capacitors in series, a battery, 18 volts. We got 20 microfarads in series with 40 microfarads. And our C equivalent then, if I can get this to write, is equal to product over the sum. 20 times 40 over 20 plus 40. So that's going to be 800 divided by 60 or 13.3 microfarads. So this whole circuit could be represented by one equivalent capacitance with one voltage across it equivalent capacitance of 13.3 microfarads and 18 volts. Okay, so that means that the charge on that equivalent capacitance is equal to the equivalent capacitance times the voltage, Q equals CV in general. So that's going to be 13.3 uh, microfarads times 18 volts, and what's that? 240 microcoulombs. So that's a charge on the equivalent capacitance. Well, capacitors in series have the same charge, and they have the same charge as their equivalent capacitance. So this series combination here those two capacitors will have the same charge as this equivalent capacitance. They should have no different effect on the battery. So that means that the charge on the 20 microfarads would be equal to the charge on the equivalent capacitance, and that would be in turn equal to 240 microcoulombs. So the charge on the 20 microfarads is 240 microcoulombs, which we could write, if we wished, as 0.24 millicoulombs. So the charge on that 20 microfarad capacitor is 0.24 millicoulombs. Answer.